Welcome to another video from Guitar School Live. In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to use the stock FCB 1010 to control cakewalk through the ACT MIDI controller. Let's get started. For this tutorial, we're using the stock Behringer FCB 1010 to demonstrate how to control cakewalk with a MIDI controller. Understand that any MIDI controller that sends note or CC messages can be used. You'll need to refer to the manual of your MIDI controller to properly set it up, as this is outside of the scope of this video. However, if you own an FCB 1010, there is a link to a short 3 minute video in the description that will show you how to program note messages in the controller to work with Cakewalk. In this setup, we'll use pedals 1 through 4 for our transport controls. Pedal 1 will be play and stop. Pedal 2 will be record. Pedal 3 will be previous marker. Pedal 4 will be next marker. Pedal 6 will be mute. Pedal 7 will be solo. And pedals 5 and 10 will be used to change banks, which will give you access to programming more functions. Pedal 5 will be next bank and pedal 10 will be previous bank. Since the ACT MIDI controller has a limit of only 8 programmable pedals per bank, pedals 8 and 9 will be left blank. Let's set up Cakewalk to receive the FCB 1010 messages. First, open a project in Cakewalk that already has some tracks. Then go to Edit, Preferences, and select Control Surfaces. Here you'll see a panel labeled Connected Controllers Slash Surfaces. Select the Add button. Now a controller slash surface settings box opens. Under the controller slash surface drop down menu, select ACT MIDI controller. Then select your MIDI device in the input and output drop down boxes. Press OK. Then press Apply and OK to close the panel. Now that we have set up Cakewalk to interface with the FCB 1010, let's program the pedals to control functions in the software. To configure the pedals, we must go to the Utilities menu and select Act MIDI Controller. Depending on your workspace, the controller may not open. If this happens, go to the top right corner and click Advanced. Then click the ACT tab and click the properties icon. When you open the ACT controller, you'll be presented with the ACT panel. First, let's change the labels. Click on the gray label and enter the number one for pedal one in the box. Click the next gray label and enter number two. Continue this until you get to number seven. Label the last cell number, 10. Now, let's MIDI learn the pedals. On the controller page, click the bottom cell in column 1 to activate MIDI learn. Next step on pedal 1. Now, click the bottom cell on column 2 to activate MIDI learn and step on pedal 2. Repeat this process until you get to pedal 7. We'll skip pedals 8 and 9, because ACT only allows 8 pedals to be programmed. We want pedals 5 and 10 to bank up and down, and accessing them is easier if they are on the end. Now, MIDI learn pedal 10 to column 10. Now, let's configure the pedals to control cakewalk. Go to the options tab. We will first set up pedal 5 and 10 to change banks. In the buttons row you should see bank 1 and next to it a drop down menu with the number 1. Click the drop down menu and select 5 for pedal 5. Click the drop down menu next to that and continuously press the letter N until next button bank appears. Press enter and check the exclude this button from ACT checkbox. 
Now go back to the number 5 and select the number 10. Click the drop down menu next to that and continuously press the letter P until previous button bank appears. Press enter and check the exclude this button from ACT checkbox. Now, change the bank number from 1 to 2 and repeat the previous process for pedals 5 and 10. Next, change the bank number from 2 to 3 and repeat the previous process for pedals 5 and 10. Finally, change the bank number from 3 to 4 and repeat the previous process for pedals 5 and 10. When you complete this process, you will see the banks change when you step on pedals 5 and 10. Now, let's program the rest of the board to control functions in Cakewalk. Go back to the options page and select Bank 1, Number 1. Click the drop down menu and continuously press the letter P until play slash stop appears. Press Enter. Now select the number 2. Click the drop down menu and continuously press the letter R until record appears. Press enter. Now select number 3. Click the drop down menu and continuously press the letter P until previous marker appears. Press enter. Now select number 4. Click the drop down menu and continuously press the letter N until next marker appears. Press enter. Setting up pedals 6 and 7 is exactly the same as the others. Search M for mute for pedal 6. and S for solo for pedal 7. When you are finished, enter a preset name and press save. And click the X to close the dialog. Now test your pedals. Now that you know how to set up a bank using the ACT MIDI controller, keep in mind that you have three more banks that you can configure any way you wish. You can access these banks using pedals 5 and 10 to scroll through the four banks. Using the four banks will give you the ability to control up to 24 functions in Cakewalk without having to MIDI learn the pedals again. Well there you have it. I hope you enjoyed discovering how easy it is to program the stock FCB 1010 to control Cakewalk. In the ACT menu, there are a number of parameters that can be controlled with the FCB 1010, and I encourage you to experiment.
Before we end, if you would like to see more videos like this, hit like, then click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you will be notified when new content is released. From all of us at Guitar School Live, we would like to thank you for watching.